So welcome to my introduction on limits. In this video we're going to go over an easy example and I'm just going to give you a basic idea of what a limit really is. Here we have the limit as x approaches 2 of x minus 4 squared. Uh, so what does this mean? Uh, this means what is the value of x minus 4 squared when x is really close and approaches 2? So let's take a look at this graph so it makes a little bit more sense. Here we have x equals 2. If we go to the right of x equals 2 and we go on our graph, notice how the closer we get to the value of x equals 2, we keep on approaching 2, we get a little closer, we get a little closer. When we're, when we're infinitely close to the value x equals 2, notice how our y value is infinitely close to 4. And let's do the same thing from the left-hand side. If we go to the left of 2, notice how the closer we get when we approach 2, we're getting a little closer, we're getting a little closer. And notice when we get infinitely close to the value x equals 2, our y value is infinitely close to 4. So when we approached x equals 2 from the right and left-hand side, our y value is equal to 4. So we know that this limit as x approaches 2 is equal to 4. So many of you are probably asking me, why don't you just do this algebraically and plug in 2 for x and see what your y value is? And the answer to that question is, uh, yes, we could have just plugged in 2 for x and found our limit. Um, however, this is an easier example where that method would actually work. And later on in this video, I'm going to show you a harder example where you can't just plug in your value for x and get your y value. But before I show you a harder example, I want to show you how we could have done this algebraically and just plugging in the value x equals 2. So since we want to find the limit as x approaches 2 of x minus 4 squared, I'm going to plug in a 2 for x. So instead of x minus 4 squared, we have 2 minus 4 squared. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is just negative 2 times negative 2, which gives us a positive 4. So notice how we got the same answer as when I showed you on the graph. The limit as x approaches 2 is equal to 4. So now I want to show you an example where you can't use the plug and chug method. So here we have the limit as x approaches 4 of 1 over x minus 4. And the first thing you should always do is use the plug and chug method. And if that doesn't work, then maybe you need to find out another method that you need to use. Uh, so since the limit is when x approaches 4, I'm going to plug in a 4 everywhere that there is an x. So instead of 1 over x minus 4, I'm going to put 1 over 4 minus 4. So now notice how we have 4 minus 4 in the denominator. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0, so now we have a 0 in our denominator. And any time the denominator is equal to 0, the function is undefined. And any time it's undefined, we can't use the plug and chug method to solve the limit. So since the limit approaches 4, we can't plug in a 4 for x because then our denominator is 0, it's undefined. So we need to find some other method uh, to solve this limit. So that brings me to my next series of videos. I'm going to be making some videos on some more difficult examples where we need to use other methods uh, to solve the limit. Uh, so stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until my next one, I will see you later.